Hello, this is Paul Guth with IQ Power Tools. We're coming back to you to show you some of the new things that we've been developing. Uh, this is the IQ 228 Cyclone. This is a brand new saw that will be available uh, later this year. The one you're looking at right here is actually a pre-production prototype. So there's some additional features that will be coming uh, into this machine. But we just kind of want to give you a sneak peek of it, show you how it works, uh, how the uh, underside, the dust, and where it goes. But if you're new to IQ and new to IQ tile saws, one fundamental thing you need to understand is these are dry cut machines. There is no water, no water required. It's all dry cutting. But with the integrated vacuum systems, then it captures the dust. And that allows you to put the machines right in a bathroom and keep you know right close to where you're cutting, whether it's in a kitchen or in a bathroom or wherever it may be. You keep that saw right next to you so you're making your own cuts. Some of you guys may be familiar with the IQ TS-244. This is a machine that's been on the marketplace for over three years. Uh, people are telling us this has been a game changer. People were very skeptical in the beginning about dry cutting uh, tile, but this uh, proved that to be a very uh, money saver uh, workhorse that you can cut tile dry right in close proximity to where you're working. You get rid of that water, small footprint. So this has been uh, very successful and guys are really loving this. And so this is kind of the, just the next uh, generation of things, a more compact size, a much more economical to own. Uh, the list price on this is gonna be right around uh, $600. So you could, the price point should be a little more easier to swallow than the, the more capable. Of course, it's not as gonna be as accurate as this nice machine, but it's still gonna be a dry cut machine that allows you to put it uh, in the bathroom, in the close to the job site, right where you're working. Now let's talk about some of the features of this machine. So it does have a rolling table on one side. You can see that it has about, it has uh, 18 inches of rip cut here. But also with the table, you can see there's all these little holes on here and things. So what's going on with that? Well, what we've done is we've designed the fence so you spin this knob, now the fence pops out. The fence could be inserted in here where it says 22 degrees, 45 degrees. So for example, you want to cut 45s, spin your fence around, drop your piece on, now you're cutting 45s. Same thing if you want to cut 22 and a half, that's what you do. Now the other holes, these are all in one inch increments off of the blade. So let's say you want to strip out some uh, two inch material. Drop this thing right there at the two inch. And now you're set and you can just drop that in and you can actually lock the table now. And let's say you want to rip something down that's large. Now you're just feeding this in and ripping things down. And that goes up to uh, eight inches from the blade. So that's a real, handy feature for the long plank. You can see it just pops in each every every eight inches. We're gonna have some additional uh, fences and some things like for cutting, uh, you know, miter cuts that will pop into these holes. Uh, one that'll have a micro adjustment. So if you're cutting something, let's say you want to cut two and a half inches or three and a quarter inches, we'll have a micro adjuster uh, accessory. So some nice interesting things like that just to make your jobs a little bit easier. So as I said, the machine will cut up to 18 inches, so you can lay your piece right on here and make your cut. We're going to make about a 12 inch cut right here. So we'll get set up here, turn the machine on, let's get my safety glasses on. No dust. You look around the room, there's no dust in the room. It's all very clean. So it allows you to cut dry, no dust. Even the blade, you can touch the blade. Blade is just hardly even warm. 
That's because we specially designed the blades to stay cool while cutting. They also utilize the airflow from the vacuum to stay cool while cutting. So you can see it's a very capable, clean cutting machine. Some of the other features, lock the table here. So at the end of the day, you wonder, okay, where does the dust go? Well, the dust ends up right here in this drawer. Here's our dust, and there is three different compartments. So this is what we call the heavy debris department, and that has like our chips and things. This is our cyclone dust. 90% of the dust goes into the cyclone area, or really 99% of the dust ends up in one of these two compartments. Very little dust ends up over here, which is the actual filter. There is a filter inside. You do need to change that filter once a year, and you do need to clean it. Let me show you how to clean that. So before you empty that tray to clean the filter, this knob right here, just give that a spin three or four times around. That drops the dust out of the filter into that tray. And then again, at the end of the day, take that tray and dump it into a bag or just dispose of it. That's your cleanup. No water, no slurry, nothing to freeze. So very simple. The machine does use cyclones. You can see we showed the cyclones on the side here. And that's what is doing the majority of the filtration. And that's how the filter stays clean. And if you have a clean filter, then your airflow stays strong. That's critical to making the entire system work. We have the machine tipped up on its side. And again, this is a prototype, but uh, we'll show you how the, the basic machine works. We'll pull the tray out here. So there's our tray. So you can see that this part where the blade is, that's where your heavy debris is going to go. This is your uh, cyclone dust will end up here, and then your filter dust will end up here. But again, only about 1% of the dust ever reaches the filter, so it stays really, really clean, and of course your airflow then stays very strong. And again, to clean that filter at the end of the day, you just kind of flick that around, and you see how it knocks that dust off into the tray, and then you can just dispose of the tray. Looking at the system a little bit more, so you see your cyclones here, filter, your blade. This is where you would be changing the blade. You have a blade wrench and the blade comes right off and you change it right there. Down below here is your motor. The motor is a single motor that's driving the blade and also the fan that creates the vacuum for the dust collection is also on this side of the motor. And that's transferred over to the filter by this tube. So a very uh, simple uh, machine, but again, this is all a prototype. It's, uh, this has all been 3D printed and, and machined, just custom, and we're going to tooling and gonna be having this out, uh, like I said, at the end of the year. So very interesting new concept in tile sauce. One of the features we were looking at when we were designing this machine and the design goal was to keep it as compact and as portable as possible. That way it can be moved around easily. So we designed it as lightweight, weighs about 35 pounds. Also stands up like that. You can put it in your trailer or your pickup truck, whatever it may be, kind of stands on its side, takes up very little room. Also we'll have a stand with it uh, that is uh, available, but you can imagine you grab the stand, you grab this and you're walking into the job site. Some of the other features on how the machine works is actually, this is more than just a blade guard. We actually call it a dust guard because there's actually some patent pending design things with the whole machine itself, but especially inside of here, that it actually uses the air or wind created by the blade to create suction and sucks up the dust and throws that dust back down in the backside of the uh, dust guard. So again, we hope you uh, enjoyed the information we're sharing here. We encourage you guys, if you have more questions, please send them to us. But once you start using this machine, able to set up right inside, close to where you're working, you start saving that money, you're gonna recognize that this machine in less than 90 days is gonna pay for itself. And then after that, you're putting that money in your pocket. So encourage you guys to do the investigation, figure out how this saw can work for you and you know, be a craftsman, use it and build amazing things. So from IQ, we appreciate your attention and please keep the questions coming.